Hi, and we're happy to be back for another season of FRCD on CAN TV, where we discuss special education rights, parent advocacy, and resources for families of children with disabilities. And as you may know, April is Autism Awareness Month. And to kick off Autism Awareness Month, we are happy to have Paul Butler from the Chicagoland Autism Connection here today to discuss the 15th annual Spring Fling Autism Awareness Resource Fair coming up this Saturday. Hi, Paul. Welcome to the show. Hi, Paul. It's a pleasure to be here. So I want to talk about the 15th annual uh, Spring Fling for Autism Awareness Resource Fair. I know this is coming up Saturday, and uh, I know you guys are really excited. Yeah. Our families are excited. The uh, <laughs> Spring Fling is, is an extension of what we do during our monthly meetings every third Saturday, except that we bring together a host of resources for the parents. Uh, this Saturday, uh, April 5th, we will be at the Bogan High School. This is our first year at Bogan High School. 3939 West 79th Street. And I'm going to pull this up overhead, and we'll periodically pull this up. Um, as you can see, this is the Chicagoland Autism Connection. Actually, that's the wrong one. I apologize. The 15th Annual Spring Fling, Bogan High, uh, Computer Technical High School, 3939 West 79th Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off there. I just wanted to make no sure. <laughs> now, we're going to have over 37 vendors there. Wow. So anything you need to learn about autism, you will find out there, that's for sure. In addition to that, we're going to have over, uh, we're going to have 10 presentations. Six wow. presentations in English, and for the very first time, we're reaching out to our Latino brothers and sisters by having four presentations in Spanish. We have also asked our uh, vendors, where possible, to bring a Spanish-speaking representative so that uh, they will be able to explain what they do to those who speak Spanish exclusively. Yeah, because autism is universal. It's, it doesn't just happen to English-speaking people. This happens, you know, this is uh, possible for everybody. So, yeah. It does not discriminate uh, <laughs> uh, race, creed, uh, color, uh, social class. The one thing we do find is that it's much more prevalent among boys and girls. Heretofore, right. it was considered a four to one ratio, boys to girls, but the recent statistics that have just come out by the Center for Disease Control puts it now at five boys for every girl. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely, this, this is all of us. Yeah. Uh, those who have autism, those who are family members of autism, and just the rest of the community. This is a, a global issue that we all need to be a part of. And if I may say a little bit more about the spring thing. Absolutely. <laughs> In addition to the great resources, there's nothing better for a family than to come somewhere and find people who are going through the exact same thing and understand what they're going through. Right. No, I, I absolutely agree. I mean, be, being able to sh even use each other as a resource yes. or just to, you know, just talk it out. You know, it's very, I can imagine, it's very difficult, you know, especially in family situations when you can't even begin to explain to the other family members why, you know, little Jimmy is uh, acting this way or explaining to, like, you know, or siblings having to explain to their siblings. So, you know, coming to the, uh, the Spring Fling or just coming to autism, Chicago and Autism Connection uh, is an opportunity to even help navigate just through the family and social issues, even bringing your family members with you, I would imagine. Yeah, you, you had a great point because many of our families affected by autism are not invited or heavily encouraged not to attend uh, extended family functions wow. because of the behavior of the person with autism. Uh, there's that lack of understanding. Right, absolutely. And, and, and so there's a sense of social isolation. And when they come to our meetings or come to the Spring Fling and they talk to other parents who go through the same thing, they begin to feel a, a camaraderie and almost as though they have developed a new family, right. that being the CAC family. 